whilst I was rummaging around, I found this uh, Alesis MIDI verb. You could get these for like 20 quid nowadays, like they're just like cheapo reverbs. I found something interesting. I'm literally just gonna inject some oscillators via a diode into here and see what it sounds like. So the first thing's first is I've got this oscillator sequence. But I'm not gonna be using that for audio. I'm gonna use that to plug into this to see what I get. So I've got some drums plugged in. I'm gonna take the top off. Ooh. Right, so I've got a long, I've got a long reverb and on the end of this is the oscillator sound there. Beep -boo, beep -boo. I'm just gonna mess around and try and find what I can do. Oh, I've already touched something. Oh God. So the drums are being plugged into the reverb and then the oscillator is messing around with the actual insides of it. So it's the oscillator, you can still hear it, but that's because it's So this one's interesting now, if you inject a voltage into this point, it makes a pretty cool noise. The great thing about things like this is it hasn't got mains voltage in there. So you can, you know, you won't die if you fiddle around with it. So this is like something that you'll never get again because right now it's in between two legs. And if I, if I leave it there and I turn it on, it crashes. So the only way to achieve these things is by taking the top off, wiring a wire from your modular into whatever you're gonna mess around with be it a MIDI verb or whatever. Make sure you've got a diode at the end of the wire because that'll stop anything accidentally going back into the Eurorack and breaking it. But, you know, you might break something. Just be aware that that might be the case. But regardless, got some pretty interesting sounds. Like from literally the drums going into a reverb module that's absolutely messed up and now and being sequenced by something else. It's pretty nice. I've got a sharpie and I've sharpied all of the points that are of interest. The problem is the points are two bits together so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make switches that turn these patch points on and off. I'll come back and I'll show you this when it's finished. You should definitely give this a try because you know whatever if it breaks it breaks. There's stems available from all of this experimentation on my Patreon there's like half an hour's worth as well as I'm giving away this Game Boy so if you're crazy enough to want something like this it's on the Patreon. Anyway peace!